North Carolina Prepper here. Welcome to uh, part two. So let's go ahead and begin, shall we? There won't be a whole lot of talking this one, as it's mostly just going to be uh, construction. I mean, there's not a lot to talk about, but still. We're going to get everything out of the goodie box. They put things inside that I don't need just yet. Alright. And I, I'll probably speed this up a lot. Wow, I forgot to film the setup there. <clears throat> oh well, let me film it now. Soldering the plug here. Alright, that's what you can see. Now I'm plugging in. These batteries aren't dead, so this only gets a test to make sure it powers up the, the uh, router. Okay, we'll go ahead and just pinch in the wires for right now. And in actuality, it's such a low amperage, I'll probably just leave it. So the black wire goes there. That's that. And we'll bring the hot wire to the other adapter on the hot lead. Yeah, that'll actually have to go through. Like that. That'll hold it just fine. I guess pinching wasn't a good idea. Let's do it the other way then. I don't really want any sticking out because I don't want any contact with the can. But I can just put some tape over it anyway, so. There we go. 
Now let's prepare the cannon. I'll let the open us. Oh, there, I gotta reconfigure that. There we go. Still not right. What the hell are we doing here? All right, so I got my tap set into the solar panel. This will give me, you know, whatever two and a quarter, two and a half volts or so. And then here should be a tap at two and a half volts. Yeah, didn't they? Alright, so that works. It says it's designed. Now I'm gonna have to go punch some holes in the can. Oh, well, let me uh put this together, I guess. I should see like that. I think I'll put it in there just like that and then rot in the back. That's good. Do it like that. Let me, um, I guess I'll zip tie this together with the least amount of uh, air restriction in there. Okay, as you can see, I uh, went ahead and drilled some holes for the wires. This is where I originally planned to put it, and it would have fit too. I was got the 10 o'clock middle, but uh, I forgot the power plug, so I gotta move it over a bit. But let me go ahead and set this up and put the antenna on. And then we'll see where we gotta go here. Let me, uh, let me do that with that and set up the panels. I'm just gonna tape the panel on for right now. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna route it, but for right now, I'm gonna just put the wires into the panel and then route it. So we're gonna set this in there. And the actual screw on antenna will help. But I think I'm gonna replace this antenna later on. With a uh, high DB gain antenna. Okay. There we go. The antenna then. Let me set the power supply in. Okay, everything's sitting down in there. Uh, I don't think you can see the lights, but it's now on. <coughs> you run these wires to the top. Oh, I hate to do this off camera for you guys, I hate that. Alright, I just kind of hammered the lid on a little bit right now, but I wanted to show you that there is the correct voltage coming through the wires. This is where the uh, solar panel is going to go. 
I'm going to add a blocking diode to this for nighttime so the batteries don't try to charge it up. You can see we're at 2.14 volts. And let me go ahead and put the panel on. This will be the panel I'm using. And the camera third fan there. Maybe. Okay. I'm just gonna attach this by shoving the wires down here. It's a very tight fit. It's a very tight fit. Do that. So I'm gonna put a blocking diode on there and then I'll waterproof everything later on. But uh yeah. actually I'm gonna pull the antenna off real quick. So I can set it up like this. There we go. Now the panel can be hung up in a tree like, well, one sets it here. Derp. I derp. Once I hear that with tape or glue or whatever, it'll hang like this from the tree. And it'll have your own tool on there. Just like that. It'll hang from the tree. Okay. Let's test the signal. We can turn it back on. As you can see, it's like that. There's a solar panel. I think it'll hang from the ceiling like that. And I'll be right back and we'll check and see how that gets the signal or not. Let me put this outside. Right back. As you can see, we're now connected to the the do-it-yourself solar Wi-Fi hotspot so that shows that it is functioning and is running but there's no internet on it no lock now normally I would have this um, set up with a password and I'd have it not broadcast its ID so it would be invisible you know it wouldn't respond to pings and all that good stuff but there it is and that shows it working okay